Thanks for checking out my video. If you want to learn more from me, I have a lot of classes on Udemy. You can find the links to a lot of those in the description. Hey guys, so this upcoming video is from my Money Magic course that you can find on Udemy. You can find a link to it either on my Udemy website through my name. I think you can find that in the description. Or if you go to to my website, magic-af.com, and you go to classes, you can find Money Magic there. This particular one is on the beliefs in your life that hold you back from making money, and you can actually apply these to basically any situation, really, and how to dissect those beliefs, how to work on them, and really how to understand how our beliefs hold us back from manifesting the different things that we want. And in this case, we're talking about cold, hard cash. So let me know what you think about this one. And if you're interested in taking the course, you can find the link through my website. The first thing that we need to talk about is the importance of belief. Now, what I mean by this is when we go to do anything in our everyday life, we have to believe that it's going to happen, that we are going to succeed at whatever we do. So, you know, anything in life that we work at or we work towards, whether it's writing a paper, finishing a degree, even driving to work, or just getting any kind of project done, we know or believe that we can make that happen. You go to a job interview believing that you can get that job. Even if you go there and you kind of have some doubts about it, why are you there in the first place? Because you want that job because some part of you says that you can get otherwise you wouldn't have applied for the job, you wouldn't have suited up, you wouldn't have gone there, and you wouldn't have done the thing. So when it comes to money, we have to believe that we can make more money. I mean, if you're working for yourself, you know, you got to work on that belief that you can produce that whatever you make or sell or do is something that other people are going to like. It's something that other people are going to want to buy. And then you are going to make money off of it. You got to believe if this is your goal to just make some side money, then believe that you can make some side money. That's what I do with a lot of the different things I do, like my books and my classes and things. I believe I can make some side money, some sprinkles on top of my income. And that's what it does for me. And you know, if you want to go higher than that, you got to believe more than that. Some people go into their passion and their hobby believing that they can turn it into a career, and they do. There's other people that go into a passion and hobby and they want to turn it into a career, but their belief doesn't fire it up enough. There's not enough fuel in the tank. There's not enough gas in there to push and drive their desire from just a side project, just a side hobby into a big thing that they can turn into what they really want to turn it into. Everybody has different things that they want to do, but can they believe that they can do it, right? Like, I would love to be able to climb Mount Everest, but due to my own physicality and what I know about myself, I believe that I am incapable of doing it. Is it a dream? Sure. But do I ever think I'm actually going to be able to pull it off? No. You know, when I set out to write my first book, Magical Theater, did I believe I could write it? Yes. Did it happen? Yes. Same thing with all of my other books, especially my novel. When I set out to write that novel, I believed I could write it. Did I believe anybody was going to really read it? No. That was just kind of sprinkles on top of the on top of the pastry. You know, I made a couple of sales on it, but more importantly, me writing my novel was more for myself. So I believed I could do it and I did it. Every time that I set out to make a class, I believed that I could make the class. And that belief that I could drove me to figure out how to make it happen. So your belief in what you want to do, and in this case, it's making money, is going to drive you to, okay, you don't have the skills or the know-how to turn A into money, but your belief in that A will eventually make you money can drive you to figure out what you need to figure out to learn what you need to learn and to do what you need to do in order for it to make money. So before anything else, 
belief is the most important thing. So you really should, you know, take a good, hard, introspective look at yourself with what your internal beliefs are. You can start with, why am, why am I not making a lot of money right now? Why am I in the position that I am right now? Why do I only have this job and not this other job that I want? What's held me back from that? And we're not going to get into the whole, you know, my family upbringing and, and this and my stresses and that and all the external details, even internal ones that you can point to a, as excuses as to why your ultimate desire in being able to make money for whatever and through whatever is not happening. We're not looking for excuses. We're not looking for scapegoats. What do you believe about yourself? Right? Maybe you don't think you have the amount of energy. Maybe you think other people will not be as receptive to whatever it is you want to make or do or produce or be. You know, is your family not going to accept you because of the position that you're going to want to be in? Or is your family not going to support you if you want to change careers? Is your family not going to support you if you want to, you know, jump in headfirst with this hobby that you have in making money? One, screw those people for their beliefs and, you know, being against you and whatnot. And Two, just because someone else believes something doesn't mean you have to adopt that belief. But we internalize the beliefs of other people. It's why a lot of times when we grow up, we end up having the same outlook or at least some parts of outlook on life that is similar to our parents or the other people around us, whether it's our political views, our religious views, our views on certain you know activities and different things like that. Those can be internalized from other people, even our own habits when it comes to what we can achieve can be internalized from other people. And they can also be internalized from our own experiences. If you were constantly told that, you know, that what you wanted to do wasn't good enough, or you couldn't do what you wanted to do, then what you really want to do, of course, you're not doing it right now, because you have this programming of, I really want to do this, but I can't because internal programming. I really would love to have this, but I can't because of internal programming. I would really love to be good at this, but internal programming. So we want to start journaling. and We want to start writing down the different things that really, what, what goes on in here, right? When you, when you have the idea of brainstorm what it is you want to do to make money, and then just sit with that for a second, have a conversation in your head about it. Why haven't I done this yet? You get an answer, write that down. What are the different things, thoughts, feelings, and beliefs around this issue and around your ideas of making money? Write them down. And I'm not, you know, it's important to write things down because then we can see them in front of us concrete and we can start to like, we can go over them and dissect them and stuff. A lot of times when we just think, sometimes those thoughts are flighty and we might get a really good insight about ourselves when we're deep thinking that we can't get back because we can't get into that same mental state. So that's why we got to journal. We got to write these things down because it's it's effectively taking a look at these different things. And when we write them down, then we can get an idea of, OK, I got to work on this. I got to work on this internalized belief from my grandma. I got to work on this internalized belief from all of my teachers. I got to work on this internalized belief from my experiences with bosses. And then we can start tackling those things. So beliefs are very important. So then when it comes to tackling those different beliefs that we have that are from other people, we want to form and use cognitive dissonance. Cognitive dissonance is when you have two conflicting thoughts in your mind and it's like a tug of war. Eventually one side is going to win. It's that whole inside of you are two wolves and whichever one wins is the one that you feed, right? So you look at those internalized beliefs that you have and you read one of them and you're like, you know, that holds me back. The idea that I'm only supposed to be in this career or I trained in this career and now I spent all this money on college in this career, but I would love to switch over. What is holding me back? Well, the idea that I'm going to go into more debt. Okay. You might go into more debt. Maybe you're too old. Well, all right. You're such an age now. In five years, you're still going to be that. You're still going to be five years older. Are you going to be in the same boat wishing you did the thing? Or are you going to be happy that five years down the line, you're now doing the thing? 
You know, you want to form an argument against those internalized beliefs. Pick one and then brainstorm and think about it and mull it over. And do that for a while, maybe a week, maybe more. See the progress in how your mind starts to explore the converse or the adverse. I think both of those words apply to your internalized belief because we want to chip away at it to transform no because blah into yes because blah. Okay? So figure out all of your internalized beliefs about what is holding you back from these opportunities and these different things about making money and start whittling away at them and transform them from something you don't like and something that holds you back to something that you do like and something that supports you. Thanks for watching my video. So if you want to check out my playlists, I have, among others, the Simon Necronomicon, the Tree of Life, General Magic, Tulpamancy, a playlist on my books, the Elements, Stones, the Theories that Govern Magic, and the Gods and Goddesses of Mesopotamia. If you want to check out my books on Amazon, I have Creating Consciousness, Magical Mechanics, Magical Theater, Handy Sigil Magic, Magical Movement, which is an update and expansion upon Handy Sigil Magic, Magical Mastery, which is a combination masterwork of Magical Theater and Magical Mechanics, and The Guide to the Spheres and Beyond. You can also find me on Facebook at MagicologyYT. You can email me at priestofthenecro at gmail.com, and you can even check out my Instagram, which is Magicology. And good hunting. You can also find me on Facebook at MagicologyYT. You can email me at priestofthenecro at gmail.com, and you can even check out my Instagram, which is Magicology. And good hunting.